Constitutional isomers are two molecules or more than two molecules that have the exact same molecular formula, but they have a different structure. They have somehow, they have a different arrangement of the atoms in the molecule. Let me give you a couple of examples of constitutional isomers, and we're gonna be using line structures for all of these. So here's the first molecule that we're looking at. Let's begin by figuring out the molecular formula for this molecule. In order to do that, we need to find our carbon atoms. We've got carbon atoms at the beginning and at the end of every one of these line segments. So that is six carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna write C6. And now let's find our hydrogen atoms. Remember our hydrogen atoms are hidden. Every carbon atom in the molecule has four bonds. So we're gonna figure out how many hydrogen atoms are on each one of the carbon atoms by looking at how many bonds we can see for each one of the carbon atoms. So for example, with this carbon atom, we can see two bonds, but we know that it actually has four. So that means two of its bonds are hidden bonds to hydrogen. This carbon atom right here, we can see one of its bonds, but we know that it has four. So that means it must have three bonds to hydrogens. So how many hydrogen atoms did we just draw? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this molecule's formula is C6H14. If we were asked to draw a constitutional isomer of this molecule right here, we would need to draw a molecule that has six carbon atoms and 14 hydrogen atoms, but the atoms are somehow arranged differently. Now I'm gonna pull these hydrogens off of the molecule just to make it a little bit easier for us to look at it because it's a lot to look at. If I were to draw something like this, so this is a mistake that a lot of students make. If I were to draw something like this, um, this molecule right here is not a constitutional isomer. It does not have a different arrangement of atoms. This molecule still has one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms in a row with all 14 of those hydrogen atoms attached. These two molecules are different only in terms of the shape that we've chosen to draw them in, but the arrangement of atoms, which is just the actual connective pattern of the atoms, six carbon atoms in a row, that hasn't changed. So this is not a constitutional isomer. Just changing the angle of the bonds doesn't turn it into a constitutional isomer. We have to draw something that has a totally different arrangement of atoms. Like instead of six carbon atoms in a row, let's just draw five, five carbon atoms in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Now we still have to have six carbon atoms. We can't change the molecular formula, but we'll put carbon number six, like a branch coming off right there. So there's carbon number six. So this guy's got six carbons and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hydrogens. So all the hydrogens are still there. And that makes it a constitutional isomer. So these two molecules are constitutional isomers of each other because they have the same molecular formula, but they have different arrangements of atoms. This is six carbon atoms in a row. This is five carbon atoms in a row with a branch or we could go like just four carbon atoms in a row with a couple of branches we could put both of the branches on the same carbon if we wanted to still six carbon atoms and if you wanted to count all those hydrogen atoms you would see that they are all there what if we tried something like this so this is six carbon atoms one two three four five six what about our hydrogen atoms one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This molecule only has 12 carbon atoms, so this is C6H12. Because it does not have the same molecular formula as these guys up here, it's not a constitutional isomer, it's just a totally different molecule. So let's say all three of these molecules here, these are all constitutional isomers of each other because they all have the same molecular formula and they all have something different about them in terms of the arrangement of the atoms. But this guy that we drew down here, this is just a totally different molecule. And there is no relationship at all between this molecule down here 
and the ones that we drew up here. So if we're trying to say like, what would we, how would we describe the relationship between these two molecules? There isn't one. They don't have a relationship. They're just two different molecules. But this molecule has constitutional isomers. We could draw constitutional isomers for this molecule. We could draw a five-membered ring with a branch right there. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hydrogen atoms. In general, when you're drawing constitutional isomers, if you start with a molecule that isn't cyclic, your constitutional isomers need to be not cyclic as well. And if you start with a molecule that is cyclic, your constitutional isomers also need to be cyclic. Let's see if we can come up with one more constitutional isomer for this C6H12. What if we did something like that? Nope, I just drew that. This right here. Is this a new molecule? Is this a new constitutional isomer? It's not. It is not a new molecule because I could just go like this and it's exactly the same as the one that I just drew. So we've gotta be really careful when we're thinking about these constitutional isomers. If you can just turn the molecule around on the page, it's not, and, and it's the same thing. It's not a constitutional isomer, it's just identical. So what about this guy? A four-membered ring with two branches. One, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 hydrogen atoms. So these three different types of cyclics that we've drawn, these three are all constitutional isomers of each other. And again, the constitutional isomers are going to be molecules that have the exact same molecular formula, but they have something different about the way the atoms are bonded together or arranged.